Howdy folks, it's Not Jay from Not Jay's Tabletop Gaming, and this video is bringing us Darth Vader and Luke Skywalker, uh, two powerful uh, individuals with the Force that uh, eventually face off not once but twice during the uh, original Star Wars trilogy. We get to see how I decide to uh, give them traits to uh, match them up in uh, how they were seen in the movies for playing in Fistful of Lead Galactic Heroes Star Wars. So sit back, relax, and uh, take a look. My first Darth Vader miniature. Uh, this is the miniature that came in the starter box for uh, Fancy Flight Games Star Wars Legion. A pretty good model overall. Uh, he is the first all black, mostly black uh, miniature that I've ever painted. I think it turned out pretty good. I think I did a, a good job with the buttons on his chest plate and on the belt. And I think I got those red eyes just right. He is made out of that bendy plastic that they use uh, at the very start of uh, the project. So his lightsaber is a little bent. Uh, but, you know, that's okay. <clears throat> Not a problem. Uh, that's, uh, like I said, it's the, the first model uh, Darth Vader that they came out with. Also came out with this Darth Vader. Um, this particular Darth Vader is model is a standalone you buy in a box um, he's he's a little more action-packed here he's he's swinging that saber he's got the wind flowing through his cape um, I think I did a, a good job with him as well again the buttons on the breastplate the buttons on his belt light up um, they don't light up but on you know on the actual costume they light up I did a little bit more dry brushing with uh, on the cloak, making it look a little more uh, dusty, looking like he's been in a little more action. I think he uh, turned out really, really good. Uh, I like both of the models. Um, you'll notice the basing. This one has just got some gray paint on it. This is the, the model that uh, is going to be used for interior type of combat. Let's go ahead and take a look at his uh, traits. He is a galactic villain, and what galactic villain means is if he activates on a black card, any black card, he's going to get three actions. So that's pretty handy to have. Nice to be able to get one more thing done per turn. He has a D12 for shooting, a D12 for uh, close combat, and he gets that because of the trait veteran. He also has the leader trait, uh, psionics, soulless, and master. So we know uh, with leader that gives him a plus one to all die rolls to make a recover from shaken or wounded with any model from his crew within 12 inches and in line of sight. A veteran of course gives him the ability to roll a d12 for all rolls, everything, attack, damage, recovery, doesn't matter. If he's rolling dice, he's rolling a d12. Psyox allows him to harness the power of the universe. What that means is it's the uh, non-IP infringing way of saying he can use the Force. Uh, some of the uh, actions he can take by using psionics is deflect if fired at and hit. Uh, he rolls to see if the shot is returned to the shooter on a 5 plus on that D12. On that 5 plus, uh, it is considered a hit back on the shooter and will uh, take damage as appropriate. And this is on all shots that hit from within 12 inches. He can also do leap, that adds a plus D10 inches to any jump that he makes. So uh, that's, that's pretty handy. And then only dark side characters can use this one. It's called Crush. 
He makes a mental attack with a short range of 6 inches, a long range of 12 inches on any target in line of sight, ignoring armor and cover. Uh, if he rolls the 5 or the 8 at range, he has hit his opponent with this, this mental attack and they take damage up to and including being put about out of action. So pretty, pretty nasty there. Uh, he is soulless, which may, means he's never going to take shock markers. Uh, but anyone shooting at him does get a plus one to hit. It's pretty handy. Um, he doesn't take the effects of, of any shaken. So, you know, he's never down in close combat. He's never down if he does have to shoot. Uh, just because he has uh, some, some, some shock on him. So, no shock for Solus. And then finally, Master, uh, he will roll two dice in close combat, picking the best. If he activates on a two, he'll roll three dice. Pretty, uh, pretty hefty guy there. And then, of course, like I said, his weapon is lightsaber. All right, now here is Luke Skywalker. Now, this Luke Skywalker model is the standalone uh, Luke Skywalker model that you can buy in the box. It's uh, obviously the one for uh, Return of the Jedi. He's got the green saber, the black uh, Jedi uh, uniform, the one we all wondered, did he go bad between uh, Empire and Jedi. So again, an all black model, difficult to uh, really you know, make stand out, but I think because of the black, uh, he is a more striking model. So pretty good, uh, pretty good model to have. I like him. Of course, I have another Luke Skywalker. Uh, this is the Luke Skywalker model that came in the starter box for the uh, Star Wars Legion from Fantasy Flight Games as well. Uh, he, this one is done up in the Bespin gear uh, with the blue lightsaber and the pistol on his hip. So this Luke Skywalker and this Luke Skywalker would have definitely different uh, traits. I'm going to go ahead and tell you the traits as I've written them up for Return of the Jedi Luke. He is a galactic hero, which means on a red card activation, he gets his three actions. Again, pretty handy to have there. He also has the shoot of D12 and close combat of D12 because he's a veteran. He does have leader, uh, psionics, defensive fighter, and leaper. Again, leader gives him that plus one to uh, the die rolls to recover shaken or wounded on any model within his crew within 12 inches and in line of sight. Veteran is what gives him the, the D12 on shoot and close combat. He's got the same psionic abilities that Darth Vader has, except he can't use Crush, but he does have Heal, uh, which is use an action and when in base-to-base -base contact with his uh, teammate, he removes one wound. There's no rolling, there's no, oh, I might hurt him more, it just happens. If, uh, spoiler alert, if you want to see this in action, watch The Mandalorian. Uh, at the time, he was just known as the child, but Grogu... Uh, has done this several times. Defensive fighter, he says, if charged uh, and you win initial combat, you make an immediate response attack against the attacker. So it's, you get charged by, by a stormtrooper, you win the, the, the combat. If he's not dead, you can immediately make another attack against him. Uh, so it's a kind of like a two-for-one thing, and it doesn't cost you... Uh, your activation. And then Leaper uh, gives him a plus two to any jump. So that on top of Leap uh, can give him up to 14 inches of additional uh, movement by jumping. So the things I would change between uh, Return of the Jedi Luke and the Empire Strikes Back Luke is I would take Veteran away. Uh, just because I don't think he, he is quite uh, in tune uh, with himself just yet as a, a Jedi Knight. I might limit his psionic ability to only being able to 
have a, a shorter list of things he can take. He'd definitely still be able to leap, but I don't think he would have heal. And I think deflect would become a plus eight for him instead of a plus five. Defensive fighter would be taken away also. So th those are the changes I would make with Luke from uh, Empire Strikes Back compared to Return of the Jedi. All in all, I think they're pretty good models. Uh, I enjoyed uh, painting them. Quite quick to paint up on both of them. There's, I mean, or on all of them, there's not a lot of color variation with them, but I think they did turn out really well. I'm going to go ahead and post some uh, photos at the end of here uh, and uh, let you see them close up. And uh, hope you all enjoy, and uh, we'll see you on the flip side.